Mario faces backlash after this cringeworthy short film that they decided to put out where they finally give their stance on where they stand with the alphabet community. I know that this is a, a major issue that all of you have been worried sick about. I know that it has kept you up at night wondering where does Oreo stand? Are they an ally or are they not? But now my friends, I am here to tell you and to, to let you know once and for all that you can sleep soundly tonight because Oreo has finally revealed that they are an ally. This short film that they put out is extremely cringeworthy, like I said. And of course, we all are sick and tired of all of these brands pandering to certain groups of people trying to get them to basically buy more products. That is what this is all about. Oreo doesn't give two hoots about the LGBT community. They don't. They don't care about any of that. All they want to do is get you to buy more of their cookies. They are a cookie company. That is what they want to do. That is what they're trying to do. They are pandering. Now, of course, you can look at some sinister under under developing themes that are happening with all of these different establishments with giant corporations you know all of these different things that are trying to push a certain agenda that is very much in line with you know they're all working in unison let's just let's just put it that way they're all working in unison to push a certain agenda that is for a very specific reason um but at the end of the day what what it boils down to is that they are pandering and People are waking up, people are seeing this, and people are calling them out for it. So, I'm not going to show you necessarily the whole short, short film. I don't even necessarily understand what they're trying to convey in this short film, but it's basically about this, I think it's like the, the son of the family or something who is apparently struggling with coming out as, as, as gay or something, and, and then their family, more of their family shows up at the end, and he's like going to tell them that he's gay. I don't... I, I, I don't know. But um, basically, this is what Oreo decided to say. Coming out doesn't happen just once. It's a journey that needs love and courage every step of the way. Share our new film and let someone know you're their hashtag lifelong ally. Share our film so that more people will go and buy more Oreos. But anyway... <laughs> People are absolutely destroying Oreo in the comments over this this short film. So uh, we have things like this, which are hilarious. Behold our newest... Actually, this one's uh, kind of the, the revised version. Behold our newest ad campaign. And then it has an Oreo right there. <laughs> like mouths. Ugh, current, ugh. Okay. And then it continues. Are you sure this will sell us more cookies? Cookies? <laughs> oh man this is hilarious so this person says and by the way salty cracker replies to this person um absolutely what an absolute legend salty cracker is hail salty cracker and the salty army if you're lgbtq plus doom scrolling in these replies like i just did please stop you're worthy and valid and incredibly loved you can find your people elsewhere the people in this thread are not it <laughs> And then Salty Cracker replied and said, LOL, imagine needing validation from a corporation that sells, that makes cookies. Good luck. You're going to need it. Ugh. Silence brand. <laughs> so they're getting absolutely walloped in the, in the comments. Finally, this ad is made. I wasn't sure what to do. I felt so guilty eating a cookie because I wasn't sure what its stance on LGBT issues were. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Hilarious. Hilarious stuff. We are living in an era of woke capitalism in which companies pretend to care about social justice to sell products to people who pretend to hate capitalism. That is exactly it right there. That sums it all up. That is exactly what is happening here. Now, of course, like I said, there are deeper issues going on here that, um, that really doesn't take a genius to figure out, but there are definitely deeper issues that are happening in our culture and stuff in regards to the certain agendas that are being pushed. We all know this, but when it comes to this, Oreo is is getting walloped for this as they should. People are calling them out, and it's not just conservatives who are calling them out. There are lots of people in the chat, even people who are themselves part of the alphabet community, 
who are calling them out for their bullshit. And that is exactly what needs to happen. With that being said, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe. All that good stuff. And I'll talk to you in another video soon. Bye.